At this time of year, Pacific walrus would normally be spread out across the Chukchi Sea of northern Alaska, using ice flows as platforms from which to feed and nurture their young. Not this year. Tens of thousands of walrus have had to come ashore because there are no ice flows. It's been an unusually warm summer and the ice this far south has melted. For scientists like the World Wildlife Fund's Sibylla Klenzendorf, it's an alarming phenomenon. Before, when sea ice was along the sh closer to the shoreline where the feeding grounds for them are, they could rest right on the ice, right above you know, where they feed, so they wouldn't have to swim to land. But today, the ice is gone, and they have to find a place where they can rest in between feeding. With such a massive congregation of walrus comes danger. The animals are more vulnerable to attack by land-based predators like polar bears, and because these huge creatures are easily spooked, stampedes can be deadly. And what we also are seeing a lot now is much higher mortality of walrus that are congregating on the beaches. Before, when they were able to rest on sea ice, they were much more spread out. Now that they're all congregating on one place, when they're scared, for example, you can see huge stampedes and the young ones are just getting trampled and die. Data released by the National Snow and Ice Data Center in Colorado reveals that Arctic sea ice reached its annual minimum extent on September the 10th, the third lowest since records began in 1979. It's a trend that scientists say exemplifies the impact of global warming. They say the plight of the walrus is an example of how climate change could gradually alter habitats all over the world. Rob Muir, Reuters.